Pac-10 Women's Volleyball on Fox Sports Net. Haas Pavilion in Berkeley. It's ninth-ranked California hosting Oregon State. Along with former All-American Lisa Sharpley, I'm Roxy Bernstein, and tonight it's a big-time match, and when you're a player, Lisa, this is the type of match you play for. You know, they've been preparing all season for this time of year, and this is their chance to make an impression on the NCAA committee and secure a good seed in the tournament. Two teams in this Pac-10 conference tonight, Cal and Oregon State going at it. 17, 70% of this league has a chance to go to the postseason. Cal is pretty much guaranteed they're ninth ranked in the country, but they're a team that's been struggling a bit lately, Lisa, as Mia Yerkov, a player as good as there is in the country, is going to try to turn this ship around for Cal tonight. Well, they really need her to come out big tonight. She's been the Pac-10 Player of the Week four times this season out of 12, and the Player of the Week in the entire nation once. They really need for her to step up and pick up a big load for them tonight. Yeah, Cal does need Mia. But Oregon State, here's a team that's literally fighting for their NCAA tournament lives. They got a good player they can rely on their own in Allison Lawrence. Allison Lawrence, clearly one of the top players in the Pac-10. She's a great all-around player leading in the top 10 in the rankings for kills, digs, aces, and points. So look to her to pick up the load for Oregon State as well. She's going to need to do it. Yurko is going to need to do it for California. It's Cal and Oregon State. Coming up next from Haas Pavilion in Berkeley. Right here, Pac-10 Women's Volleyball. Stay with us on Fox Sports Net. Back at Haas Pavilion, take a look at the Cal Straw Hat Band getting the crowd fired up. In Oregon State. Beavers come in at 15 and 13 overall, 5 and 11 in the Pac-10, while Cal is at 19 and 6 overall, 10 and 6 in the Pac-10 conference. Let's get to the starting lineup for tonight's match. And first for the Beavers of Oregon State, Kara Rhodes, along with Abby Wendell, who is a middle blocker, and Watts Roberts, a former Big Sky MVP. Also, Casey Frederick, Amanda Eggert, Allison Lawrence, the leader for Oregon State, Laura Collins, last year who was Pac-10 Player of the Week in an Oregon State victory here at Cal. The head coach of the Beavers is Nancy Somera in her fifth year at Oregon State. See Nancy Somera, a former great player at USC for the Trojans. This is her first head coaching job at Oregon State. She spent eight years as an assistant at her alma mater before getting the job, and assisted by her husband, Ben Samara, who played at USC as well. Let's look over at the California side, and the Golden Bears ranked ninth in the country, but they've lost three in a row. And Cal has dropped six of their last nine matches. Jillian Davis starts at the libero position. Samantha Carter, a freshman All-America candidate for Cal, is the setter. Lisa Collette, Jenna Brown, Mia Yerkov, who we talked about in the opening, up for Pac-10 Player of the Year, a four-time Pac-10 Player of the Week. Camille LaFall and Gabrielle Abernathy, who's battled some injuries this season, is back in lineup tonight. Rich Feller, the head coach at Cal, also in his fifth season. Spent 14 years as the head coach at Colorado State, also spent some time with the USA national team, and is really taking this Cal program from the scrap heap and built a strong program now at Cal, trying to go back to the NCAA tournament for the second year in a row. They're truly just thriving here under Rich Feller, and you know he actually had some experience with the U.S. national team. Um, I had an opportunity to play for him there, and I think this is just a great fit for him. It's a great school. It's an easy school to recruit to, and um, he's brought in some great assistant coaches and Lee Mays, and um, they're just doing a great job of, of attracting talent and um, executing. So California, a team that raced out to a 16-0 start this season beating Stanford for the first time since 1982, but has struggled lately, and this is a big match for them tonight to try to get back on track. For Oregon State, literally fighting for their NCAA playoff lives. Last week, they split at home with the Arizonas, and a team that has come a long way. This team won just eight matches all of last season. Cal will get it started, and it's gonna be the freshman, Samantha Carter, to serve for California. She hails from Opopka, Florida. And Samantha Carter, 5'11", second the Pac-10 in assist, gets this match underway. Here's the tip of the net by Laura Collins of Oregon State. Sent over from Carter, the back row played by the diving Rhodes. Set, Watts Roberts sends it over. Cal keeps it alive, here's the set for Yerkov, and she fires it back to the back row where it's played by Rhodes for Oregon State. And the Beavers strike first here tonight. 
That was sort of a missed opportunity there, I think, for Camille to fall. She had the overpass, and um, it looks like she just misjudged it, expected Laura Collins to go up and joust with her, and um, didn't take enough off of it. Here is Collins to serve for Oregon State. First team all Pac-10 academic last year was Collins. Here's a set for Yerkov, it's just an easy tip over the net. And that's a great play for Mia Yerkov because the entire Oregon State defense is dug in, waiting for her to just hammer the ball like she can. She sees an opening and tips it right over the block. At six foot three, she is so tough to defend against. And Yerkov with the jump serve, and it just tips inside the line, the ace for Yerkov. Mia Yerkov who is third in the Pac-10 and aces at nearly half a game. Strikes with the ace there on Cal as their first lead. She really is just a triple threat for the California Bears. Able to ace, kill, dig, she does it all. Set for Wendell, kept alive by Cal. Yerko creeps up to the three meter line and she sends it into the net and Oregon State draws even 2-2. It's interesting to see them going to Yerkov already in the back row. Usually teams will try to you know, go to their big hitter in the back row when they need a side out. They're not getting the uh, offensive production from the front row, but it looks like they're, they're ready to use her right away. Camille LaFall gives Cal the 3-2 lead with the kill as Camille, the school record holder in hitting percentage at 357 for a career. 3-2 Cal, there's LaFall with a jump serve. Played by Lawrence in the back row for Oregon State. There's the set for Wendell and Abby Wendell. Draws Oregon State even, and into the game is Amanda Eggert. Look at Wendell just get up. She's very consistent in transition, has great footwork, especially for a freshman. It's great to see her playing at such a high level this early in her career. Wendell from Gresham, Oregon. Freshman to serve. It's tapped over the net by Powers for California. Here's the set for Rhodes. Played by Carter. The set, Yerkov, the kill. Puts it inside the right corner in the back. That is just perfect place. Yeah, watch the set here from Jenna Brown. She gives her a great set, kind of leads her past the 10 foot line so that she can broad jump. And she's able to just look around, find an open spot. Abernathy for California gives Cal the 5 3 lead. Gabrielle Abernathy, who hails from nearby Antioch, whose younger sister Jennifer plays at Arizona. Not only plays, but is actually dominating right <laughs> That's now. That's true. She's been a big reason for Arizona's sudden tear through the Pac-10. That's a team to watch out for come the tournament. Definitely. Jenna Brown, the service error for Cal, 5-4. Golden Bears lead. There's the service from Ann Watts Roberts. Set Carter, the kill attempt with the net for Powers, kept alive over against State Rhodes. Slams it into the net. Cal's up two again, 6-4. You're talking to Nancy Samara, she was saying that you know her team really excels in the digging arena. They're great defenders, they're able to pick up a lot of balls, and where they've lacked is being able to transition those digs into kills. She thinks that they need to transition at least one out of every three digs in order to be successful. Brown sends it over for Cal. There's the left hand from Collins. Talk about turning a program around. We talked about Rich Feller with Cal, but Nancy Samara has really done a great job at Oregon State. They made the tournament in 2001 for only the second time in the history of their program, and they're uh, competing to get into it this year as well. At yeah, 15 and 13, all you got to do, especially if you're in the Pac-10 conference, is finish above the 500 mark. And Oregon State, with four matches left, they, they play still tonight against Cal. They have Stanford left, as well as a tournament next weekend at UOP. But this is a team that has a very good chance to make it. They do, they have to win two of their next four in order to get above the 500 mark, which qualifies you for the NCAA. So they would really love to steal a win here from either Cal or Stanford um, so that they aren't in the pressure situation of having to win both matches at the Bankers Classic next weekend. The 6'4 junior Amanda Ager for Oregon State who hails from Wilson High School in Portland. She will serve with Cal leading at seven to six. Sent over the net from Powers and Oregon State with the kill, the Beavers have tied this match up at seven here in the first game is Abby Wendell for Oregon State. That's just a great alert play by Lawrence. Oregon State really depends on tough serving to be successful because defense and serving is really where they're going to be attacking as opposed to offensively. Wendell again, the freshman from Gresham, Oregon. Gatorade Player of the Year last year, senior year in high school. Gives Oregon State the 8-7 lead. Carter at the net fighting for it, sends it over. 
Set from Collins, coming up from the back is Rhodes. That's alive by the libero for Cal Davis, the freshman, the kill from your club. That's so hard to handle. She strikes that lead with so much force. She seems to see the block so well, and her jump is what's really giving her the opportunity to just look around, place the ball right inside the block. Part of the serve, eight out, first game. Tip over the net, perfect placement from Abby Wendell, the freshman again. As Wendell, her dad was a great athlete at the University of Hawaii, where he was a three-sport star, played football, basketball, and ran track. Grandpa played football at USC, her sisters, Libby plays volleyball at Jacksonville, and then her another sister of Miranda is a basketball player at Western Oregon. So you're talking about an athletic family. And she looks so comfortable out there for a freshman. She's a leader. You can tell she's very steady and calm, and she can laugh off her mistakes, and they're really looking for her to take more of a leadership role in the next few years, and I think the fact that she's getting a lot of court time this early in her career will really help her to take on that role. The senior from Milwaukee, Laura Collins, misses with the serve, and it's 10-9. Oregon State leading in game one, and it's Yerkov to serve for California. And you look around this conference, Lisa, we, we talked about the history there uh, of Wendell and the family of such tremendous athletes. She's not the only one in this conference. It's Lawrence there missing on the kill attempt. It went wide, and we're tied at 10. You got Emily Adams down at USC. Right, Alicia Robinson also at SC. Sam Carter, who's Father played in the NFL. Her mother played volleyball. Tucky and her sister plays at Rice. So. Freshman here at Cal. Here's the set. And Watts Roberts across. Collins has set the net and the block from LaFall. Camille LaFall right in the middle there. Her quickness is really impressive. She's able to just react. See her jump twice in one rally. Penetrate over the net for the block. 11-10, Golden Bears. Great height. Watts Roberts, who missed nine games this season because of an injury. And Ann Watts Roberts, who hails from Australia, the six-foot junior, who transferred from Montana State. Yeah, and actually her transfer story is pretty interesting. She got married at Montana State. Her husband enrolled in graduate school at Oregon State, and so she requested a transfer so that she could be with him. And Montana State did not release her, so she had to sit out a year, unfortunately but now she's really an impact player for the Beavers. Camille LaFall, who just had the kill for Cal, will serve. Six in the pack, 10 in hitting percentage, and she sends it across. It's set from Collins, coming in from the outside, and there's Watts Roberts again. Watts Roberts, double figure kills in 14 of the 19 matches she's played in. That's just a great decision by Collins there to set her. Abby Wendell drew the middle blocker, leaving Watts Roberts one-on-one -on, -one on the right side, and she's feeling a lot more comfortable out there after playing the last few matches on the right. At the net, the kill from Amanda Eger, using her six-foot-four height advantage there to put Oregon State in front 13-12. to Eger second on the team in kills. Downing right there, Carter the set for California, setting up Brown. Kept alive by Oregon State in the back row. Here is Lawrence. And Carter pops it way into the air. Set for Yerko from the back row. A dig for Oregon State. Eggert sends it across. Carter, Brown for Abernathy, who just fires it over. Collins the set from the outside. Oh, perfect angle. Watts Roberts, who did not have much room right there, but somehow she made the play. That's just a great finesse play from a veteran player. She uses a little roll shot right down the middle. Everyone's expecting a wider shot. Goes down. Service error from Wendell. 14-13, OSU leading. It's going to be Jenna Brown serving for Cal, a sophomore from Friendswood, Texas, just outside of Houston. Left-handed serve to set for Eggert. Davis for Cal, set and missing wide there was Alicia Powers for California and it's Oregon State by two as Powers has started every match in her Cal career, but a slow start for California and Rich Feller wants to talk things over. We got a timeout at Haas Pavilion. Oregon State 15, Cal 13, game one. Pac-10 women's volleyball on Fox Sports Net. There's something for the best damn sports show. Look at that hat. That's a Beaver fan for you. She's a crazy Beaver fan, that's for sure. You know, so far I think the Beaver serving is what's really been working for them. 
Cal is struggling a lot with their passing and they're not able to run that precision offense that they have been most of this year. Abernathy missing for Cal at Oregon State, their largest lead, 16-13. They're midway through game one. And Watts Roberts to serve part of the set. And the kill from Alicia Powers. we got a lot of power behind that great four. That is just a great set, too, by Samantha Carter. I have been so impressed with her ability to connect with these middles, especially as a freshman. That can take a lot of time to get comfortable with your middles, to get comfortable with the college system. But she's shown she can set in the middle like anyone in this conference. Service ace from Abernathy. And Cal climbs within one. It's Gabrielle Abernathy. Deer Valley High School second on the Cal team in aces. The set from Collins. Rhodes tips it over, and Cal can't keep it alive as the attempt from Brown goes wide. 17-15 Oregon State. Really Ashley Turner checks in for Cal for the first time. I'm really impressed so far with Oregon State's ability to sort of make use of what they have. They're not the tallest team. They're not going to overpower you. But they have a lot of finesse shots, and Cal needs to expect the tip a little bit more, I think, in order to be successful defensively. Ball rolling on the top of the net. Bounces for Oregon State. They're up by three again, 18-15. Kara Rhodes, the sophomore from Burlington, Colorado. Serve, and there's the jump serve from Rhodes. Played by Jillian Davis, the freshman. Kept alive by Frederick, and Rhodes fires it over. Carter to set. Here comes Yerkov, and Mia. The dig for Oregon State by Watts Roberts, and Oregon State tallies again. Such a good job by Watts Roberts to stay disciplined down on the line. She, they're playing perimeter defense, so they're staying deep on the line hitters. She was there ready to make the play, and Lauren Collins was able to finish it off. Four-point Oregon State lead. The set, Yerko off the block. Rhodes sends it over. Davis, Carter the set. Here comes Yerko one more time. And again, Oregon State the dig, and Lawrence. A set from Collins. Collins again for the Beavers, setting it for Lawrence. Off the block, kept alive by Davis for California. And a set for Brown. Late the back line by Watts Roberts. And Egger. Ashley Turner for California. Yerko with the net, tips it over. Played by Oregon State, Watts Roberts. Lawrence off the block and tallies. Oregon State up five. What a great idea by her to go high hands in that situation. She's been dug over and over. See her go up, just aggressive, going for hands. Yerkoff not happy with that one. Rhodes again, the jump serve. Davis and Brown collide. Here's the set for Yerkov and block of the net. Dig from Collins and the fire over from Lawrence. Off the block, Alicia Powers for California. Breaks the drought and it's Oregon State 20. California 16 and Powers will serve. The sophomore from nearby Clayton. Look at her numbers on the year. Middle blocker for California. Just gets over the net. Set for Lawrence off the block from LaFall. Cal keeps it alive. Yerko at the net. And she got it. Just inside the line for Mia Yerko. Her fourth kill here at game one. 2017 Oregon State. And that's something you just love to see from your big player who's just going after it, even, an, even in an off-system play like that when the other team's not expecting a hard hit. She goes after it more than ever. Carter sets Eggert. Off the block, Carter the dive for Cal. Di dig from Yerko and sent over from Brown. Set Lawrence. Did she get it? No, it went wide. Point California, and the Bears have run up three in a row. And Oregon State and Nancy Samaro want to talk things over. This Cal will got down five, has chipped it down to two. Timeout here at Haas Pavilion, Oregon State 20. The Bears 18, game one on Fox Sports Next.
at Hospitality at Oregon State with a two-point lead here in game one. And Cal coach Rich Beller cued us in on one of the keys tonight in this match. I think as always the key is for us to execute our game. Um, we've been working really, really hard on our defensive um, positionings and uh, changing our defenses a little bit as the situation dictates. So. For us, to, for us to win, we got to execute. And that means the defense, it really starts with the blocking in the defense, and then it transitions into our offensive game. So Cal down two here in game one, and it's Powers serving for the Golden Bears. Played by the libero in the back row, Frederick. And with the kill, it's long from Eggert, and it's Cal within one. They've got four in a row now to climb within one. I think Oregon State's game is really to not be the team that makes the errors, and so when they do start making errors, they can really struggle. They're the, they should be the team that's just digging balls and keeping it in play and making you make the big plays to win the point. Al just sends it over. Collins the set, here comes Lawrence off the block, and Yerko can't get the dig. And Oregon State breaks the drought. 21-19 Oregon State. Yerko a great attempt there. Just couldn't get to it off the block attempt. Yeah, and that's just a great example of how important it is to be still when the ball is being contacted because you never know how it's going to bounce off the block, where you might need to react. Lawrence keeps it alive and misfires on the kill attempt. And it's 21 20 Oregon State. Allison Lawrence, the junior from Alta Loma, California, Rancho Valley High School. Here is Samantha Carter, the freshman for Cal. Started now 25 of the 26 matches for the Golden Bears this year. Lawrence, dig from Carter. Yerko, pinpoint accuracy, and we're tied at 21. Boy, she really has an inkling for those corners, Lisa. She just has pinpoint control. She has such a fast arm swing that it's really hard for the defense to react. I've been impressed so far with Oregon State's lack of intimidation when she's hitting. But when she gets a good set, watch out. Here goes again. Oregon State keeps it alive. Lawrence tries to go diagonal, and she puts Cal in a tough position. The Bears can't save it. And Oregon State remains in front. So they go back in front, 22-21. This is a really good rotation for Oregon State. They've got two of their best hitters in Lawrence and Watts Roberts in the front row. Collins to serve, Carter sets the fall. She goes cross court, and she misses wide. Camille LaFall, sixth in the league in a hitting percentage. Can't strike there, and Cal wants a timeout. Keep it here during this timeout. Oregon State leading it by a score of 23-21, and I think this is the start that Nancy Samara wanted for Oregon State. Oh, definitely, and I, th I think Cal's really, it's their passing that they're s struggling with the most right now. They need to be able to run their middles to be successful. You know Mia Yerkoff is gonna get her kills. We know that um, Jenna Brown is going to get her kills, but it's the middles that can really make the difference for them. Introducing 5-4-3-2-1, the only show taking you inside the world of extreme sports every night. Ann Tweeden and our group of experts brings you the entire world of extreme sports all in one place. Breaking news, event highlights, and insider features you won't find anywhere else. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Weekdays at 5 p.m. only on Fox Sports Net. I think Oski the, the Bear is a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 viewer. What do you think? Oh, for sure. That's, that's definitely a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 viewer. Oregon State. Leading at 23-21 is Mia Yerko, whose father, Zelko, was a member of the Yugoslavian national team in basketball, where he placed and took a gold, a gold medal home for the Moscow Games in 1980. Of course, that's when the U.S. boycotted the Olympics. But 1976 in Montreal, took home a silver. Yeah, and he was seven feet tall, so you can see where Yerko gets some of her height. Yeah, Mia at 6'3". But this excellent serve from Collins and Oregon State is back up three at 24-21. Laura Collins from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Two-time All-Pac-10 Oval mention selection. There's Carter to set for Yerko to the back row played by Rhodes. Collins, middle of the floor played by Frederick for Oregon State. The 
the set. Carter for LaFalle who tips it over. Set, Collins. Trying to go deep was Watts Roberts, played by Cal. And here's Yerko from the net. And Mia strikes again. That was a pretty sketchy set there. Nancy Samara is not happy about that. Sixth kill for Yerko, and you can't afford to make mistakes when she's on the other side of the net. Definitely not, and they just left way too big of a hole out there. I think they were all a little bit surprised that that set got by without being called. There's the kill from Watts Roberts. They haven't called out her name in a bit, but that's her fifth kill here in game one. When you see her, they like to have her hit on the left in serve receive because that's actually her more natural position. So they've sort of tweaked their lineup a little bit so that she can hit on the left and serve receive and sometimes in transition. Camille LaFall for California. 25-23. And LaFall with the kill. And Jenna Grigsby comes in for LaFall, who gets a breather here. Grigsby, one of the lone seniors on this Cal team that is a very young team that's going to come back next year. They're going to be a dangerous team in the, the Pac-10 and the nation next year. There's oh, Watts sure. Roberts. I don't, I don't think they have one senior that's starting right now, so all of their starters will come back. They'll be a force to reckon with. 26-23 Oregon State. And for the Beavers, this is Abby Wendell to serve. Abernathy to set Carter for Abernathy, goes cross court, and misses wide. She's really going after that sharp cross court shot. That's her second error wide, and I think, you know, the Bears are so happy to have her back. She was out with a stress fracture in her foot. And just her presence alone is able to draw blockers to her, leaving other players open. So while she's not exactly converting so far tonight, having her out there is still a bonus for the Bears. Alicia Powers for Cal, the Bears in three, and here is Brown serving. Set by Collins. Block at the net, Abernathy keeps it alive off the net. Carter sets Yerko, diving dig from Collins. Watts Roberts toward the back line. Yerko, the set, going cross court, and Powers another kill, a fifth. And Cal within two at 27-25. You talked about Abernathy, Lisa, she was out. Yerko was sick, that's why Cal's been struggling a bit lately. Yeah, they've had to mix around their lineup a lot so far, and having Yerko healthy back in the lineup has been huge for them. Abernathy back in, it's really brought some more continuity to their lineup, and they're hoping that they can really get some momentum now going into the postseason. Oregon State calls timeout of Cal. A little bit of a spurt here with Oregon State leading the Golden Bears, 27-25. You know, some teams in this league have had to deal with adversity with Stanford tend to go through this season. And Cal's now faced it recently. And because of the problems that Rich Feller's had to deal with lately, as you said, he had to move people around. And tonight, Mia's back in her 0-1 role, as opposed to she was playing the 0-2 role before. Talk about that and how much of a switch that is for Cal. It's a huge switch because as the outside hitter one, as you referred to, um, that means that you are, you are facing the two hitter rotations for your team. So you were in there alone with just one other hitter when your setter's front row and two of the three rotations where that happens. And so you're expected to take on a much bigger role. And so with her not being in the 0-1, another player has had to step up and take on that load. And it, it, it can definitely throw you off. She's in the 0-1 role now. It means she's touching the ball a lot as you look at the Pac-10 All-Academic team, the pride of the pack, and you look from top to bottom. That's an impressive roster there. You look at Sarah Watkins at Arizona State, the sophomore with a 4.0. Emily Adams of SC, Sarah McGee, Anna Robinson from Stanford, also Kim Melhorn from Arizona State. A couple of Oregon State players on that first team All-Pac-10 Academic list. Jillian Davis to dig and into the net for California as Alicia Powers, and it's Oregon State 28, Cal 25. And that's just a mental error that you can't really afford at the end of a game like this. Cal really needs to focus and regroup if they're gonna try and snag this game back. Watts Roberts serves for Oregon State. Carter at the net, tipped over by Collins for Oregon State. Yerko toward the net. Abernathy off the block, kept alive by Frederick. Here's the set for Rhodes. Sends it over, and she finds an opening. Three fantastic digs in that rally. Jillian Davis, Casey Frederick. There's just some amazing defense on display tonight. And you saw Kara Rhodes, not the tallest player out there, but she's crafty. The little roll shot in the middle of the court. Timeout California and Oregon State with game point here in the opening 
game of this match, leading at 29-25. See the one-handed stab by Frederick, and then Kara Rhodes just goes right into the hole in the defense. It's a great, smart play by her. So Oregon State on the verge of taking game one. Cal leads the all-time series between these two teams, 27-16, including a win earlier this season at Gill Coliseum in Corvallis back in the middle of September when they won 3-0. But Oregon State has won five of the last seven matches between these two teams. This has to be a confident group, Lisa. They've won here at Hot Pavilion three years in a row. Yeah, they feel pretty comfortable in Berkeley, you know, having won the past three. And so they're not intimidated. They're out here wanting to snag this win, wanting to prove to the NCAA committee that they can play with the number nine team in the nation and therefore deserve to be in the tournament. And a win tonight for the Beavers would go a long way toward that NCAA committee. Here is Ann Watts Roberts. For Oregon State serving for game one. 29-25, OSU leading here. Played by Californian Brown. Set, Abernathy. Dig for Frederick. Collins the set. Coming up, Watts Roberts. Lawrence plays for Oregon State. And a mishandled ball by the Beavers. They, a little bit out of whack there, and Cal stays around here in game one. Yeah, that's just a misconnection between the setter and the middle, and I, I think that just sort of underscores my point about Samantha Carter and her ability to connect with her middles, even with the senior setter like Laura Collins working with Amanda Eggert, who's been in the middle all year long. You can still have those missed timings. It's not easy to uh, time those precision sets that are so quick. Game point number two, Cal trying to fight it off. Turner with the serve, and now the dig. Carter at the net, the set, here comes Yerko. Off the block, Oregon State keeps it alive in Lawrence. Sent over the net by Eggert at the net, and Oregon State off the block, out of bounds, they take game one. 30 to 26, Oregon State here in the opener. And they're surprising Cal a little bit here tonight as Oregon State off the block, they take game one in impressive fashion over California. In game one, it was the Beavers 30 and California 26. Welcome back with game two. After this, Oregon State up 1-0 here on Fox Sports Net. 